What is going on everybody? It has been a long time since I've uh, posted a video to YouTube, but uh, yeah, finally uh, gotten past our wedding, so I have a lot more time where my mind isn't just thinking about how that's going to happen. Um, but uh, I've got quite a bit of stuff to show off. I looked and I haven't made a YouTube video since I did a 2021 uh, card recap. So I pulled out some of the stuff I've gotten so far in 2022 to show off, along with um, a stack of uh, nice cards that were uh, gifted to me and whatnot um, just a little over a week ago um, uh, from Dave. So anywho, um, like I mentioned, I got married. Uh, Alicia and I uh, tied the knot on Saturday, September 17th, and we were fortunate to have um, some of my closest friends in this community make it to uh, make it into town for the wedding. It was really, really awesome. Um, John J.W. Smitty 80. Uh, John, he was in my wedding. He was one of my groomsmen. Um, I was honored that he accepted uh, my request and uh, couldn't thank him enough. It had a really good time and uh, I really appreciated him being there. Um, but two people who made it in from out of state, um, three people actually, but uh, two people that uh, in the card community, um, Dave Archer and Bob Wilkie, they both made the trip in uh, to Sedalia, Missouri here um, from Minnesota. Um, Dave and his uh, lovely lady friend Trista, they made the long trip down here. Um, they got into town on uh, Thursday. It was Thursday, um, a couple days before the wedding. And uh, when he arrived, he arrived bearing gifts in the form of Two giant coolers full of meats and treats and all kinds of great stuff. Um, the wedding gift to Alicia and myself was just an incredible amount of uh, deli meats. Uh, different kinds of meat sticks and cheeses and got uh, some Capicola, which we busted into this weekend, which is freaking fantastic had never had it before always wanted to try it um it delivered so freaking good but yeah different types of brats and um yeah just an unbelievable amount of stuff like i said two coolers worth um filled up my freezer above my fridge and put a big dent in my uh deep freeze um Easily the coolest wedding gift we could have possibly gotten. Love it so much. Uh, I likely will not have to buy meat for a year. And that might be conservative. It, it might be longer than that. I mean, there was an entire smoked turkey in this package that <laughs> he uh, brought down to us. So thank you so much, Dave. Um, that night they got into town. Um, they came in and uh, Dave and Trista both came in and hung out with Alicia and I. For multiple hours uh, I had to get up and go to work the next day um, so I was dragging ass a little bit but it was well worth it uh, wish we could have had more time if I was a smart man I would have taken Friday off and uh, we could have just stayed up all night talking cards and life but um, along with all those meats Dave also brought a stack of cards up first uh, from 2016, correct? Yeah, 2016 Select. This is the fuchsia pink color. This is numbered out of 15. These were only available in um, Panini National Pack, so this was not an easy parallel to come by. Um, I did already have one, but you all know how I love my dupes, so that one will go in there. It will actually go into my uh, um, my rainbow package of these cards. 
uh, to replace the one I currently have because I would rather this one be in the rainbow and the other one be the dupe. Uh, you also gave me this absolute stunner from 2007 National Treasures. Uh, dual patch, game used, prime, Donald Driver. Look at that gold foil. Gold rainbow foil is the best. We've got some ribbing and some paint patch in there. That one's numbered out of 80. And then this card, this is my fourth copy of this card, and I would like to have all 25. This one's numbered 5 out of 25 from 2011 certified. Fabric of the game, triple patch, NFL die cut. Look at all the stitching and chunkiness in that card. Again, 5 out of 25, and that is game worn. And then there is this. This thing is so cool. I have nothing like this in my collection. 1933 John Player and Sons Hound Boy Scout and Girl Guide. This is Player's Cigarettes. PSA 5 Hound card. Uh, Dave gave this. I, I don't know where he found this. Um, I'm assuming from one of the Facebook groups would be my guess. But um, Dave knows uh, our my puppy that's in the other room right now all curled up. Uh, Charlie, she has some hound dog and beagle in her. So this is a really cool card uh, to help celebrate her. So thank you for that one, Dave. That's really neat. And then these next two cards are cards that I've owned. This will be the third time now. Um, he brought these and handed them to me. And these will be uh, either a future purchase or a future deal. Um, so these will stay in my collection uh, this time. They, they're not going anywhere now. Uh, but numbered out at 20. Uh, 2011 National Treasures. We've got the... Century Legends, Game Use Patch Autograph. You got the Hall of Fame logo here behind all the foil of Mean Joe Green. 16 of 20. Game Used. Beautiful freaking card. Absolutely love that one. And then the card, it's... I'm taking this one out of the case this time. This one's numbered 11 out of 20. Same product, same set, but man, the, the patch on this card. Numbered 11 out of 20. We've got the Jack Lambert, and that patch is so chunky and twisted up. It's even not getting all the... Uh, detail all that black is just all twisted up it's coming out of the window but super bright blue autograph on that fully on the sticker but game use patch autos of jack lambert do not surface all that often and there aren't too many out there that are going to be nicer than this so thank you for getting those back into my collection dave we will uh definitely work out a deal for them in the future he mentioned that he uh, might move these, and then he just went ahead and brought them with him. And, uh, yeah, we will get a deal worked out for him because I absolutely love them. And they go perfectly in my defensive uh, uh, player of the year and legends uh, collection. So, Dave, my friend, I cannot thank you enough for making it down for the wedding. Um, I know that was a brutal drive down here and then going back, you got back into town at two o'clock in the morning, went to bed at two 30 in the morning, got up at three 30 in the morning and then proceeded to go to work, which is unreal. And, uh, yeah, I was so happy to have you there. It, it was so cool. And I'm glad we got some, uh, good photos together and, um, look forward to seeing what the, uh, professional photographer what those pics look like so hopefully we'll know here in the next like three to five weeks uh we should be getting all those back so thank you so much for uh making it down to our big day greatly appreciated and now 
Moving on to, oh, this is a, this is a pretty big stack of cards. I'm actually going to wait on those. Um, but I wanted to thank uh, Bob Wilkie, uh, K Midas. Bob, from the moment, um, even before I got engaged, um, Bob has always taken uh, a real interest in um, my relationship with Alicia and our happiness and how how our relationship developed and um, from like I said from even before we got engaged uh, he always kept tabs uh, we talked cardboard all obviously but um, there were a lot of conversations in there you know about real life stuff and so I knew when we um, were had our venue and everything booked and had the date set and everything um, I knew that Bob was somebody I was going to invite and I mean, he did not hesitate when I told when I asked him for his address and told him I was, uh, going to send him an invitation to the wedding. He immediately went out and made sure that he would be able to make it, booked his hotel room and, uh, made plans to get here. So Bob, thank you so much. It was a pleasure seeing you and, uh, look forward to seeing you again, um, in Chicago next year, um, but yeah, it's it. That's the great thing about this hobby. You you, you meet people um, through the internet, and whether you actually ever meet up in person or not, you never know. But it doesn't matter. Um, some of my longest friendships are with some people that I've actually not met in person before. And I consider them good friends. Now, Bob and Dave, and um, there were another uh, handful of people or so from the community that I invited. And I sent all these invites out without any expectation of anybody coming because I know that, I mean, we all have lives and travel isn't always easy, especially, you know, with work and everything. And uh, so when... Dave and Bob both said we're there. It, uh, it 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 meant a lot, and uh, yeah, it was. I that was a really really fun wedding. I I had a really good time, and uh, I know it meant a lot to Alicia to uh, be able to meet my friends who whom she hears I talk about and she knows them in name only, and so for her to get to meet them and everything, it just awesome 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 stuff thank you guys um so yeah now i'll go ahead and get into the big pile of cards i've got sitting over here like i said it's not everything i've picked up this year but it's a good chunk of it um uh up first this is a card i picked up once i knew it existed i knew i had to get one of these and uh Sounds like there's a really good shot of this guy reprising his role, which means that these cards will probably go up into a price point where I wouldn't be able to afford or feel comfortable buying them. But I managed to get one at a price that I thought was really cheap before um, any of the announcements and everything came out. But uh, this is from 2019 Upper Deck. Marvel's Punisher Season 1. This is a For the Core autograph on card. John Bernthal as the Punisher. I love him in this role. I loved him uh, in the Daredevil series. And then his standalone series was awesome. And uh, hoping, I know he's, I know he really wants to uh, come back as uh you know, Frank Castle and the Punisher. I know he wants to bring this character back and he's ready to go. So hopefully uh, Disney can make that happen. So got that card. Really dig it. Um, this card right here is a card I picked up. And uh, like there, there's nothing here that majority of people that watch my videos don't see when I post these things on Facebook and Instagram and whatnot. Um, but this card 
uh, it's my favorite home run in baseball history. I'm not, I'm not a Dodgers fan. I'm not a fan of any team in baseball. I, I root for players. Um, so this right here, to avoid a long story, um, this home run is one that I remember from my childhood, uh, thanks to my grandma, um, for having a VHS of the 50 greatest home runs in baseball history when I was a little kid. Um, but this card right here is Cardboard Perfection, and it's from 2003 Topps Tribute. This is, what is this one? It's Series Signature is what it is. But World Series Game 1 hits World Series Game Winning Home Run 1988 Dual Game Used Bat Piece on card autograph of Kirk Gibson with that absolutely famous image right there. Him running around the bases. Couldn't hardly even stand, let alone run. Um, he stepped up to the plate and took uh, Dennis Eckersley out for a walk-off home run and... This card is just so stunning. Absolutely love it. It's one of those cards that um, is going to be in my collection forever. This card is so pretty. And it was the card I wanted of Kurt Gibson. Um, there's a couple different, two or three other uh, cards out, autograph cards out there that um, immortalize this moment. But this was the card to me so really happy to have that now to get on to the Packers stuff um, I got this beautiful card from 2021 optic contenders this is the splitting image insert of Aaron Rodgers um, I don't remember if these were case hits or what they were um, I know they're SP. They're not. They're not easily found, um, but I love that you got the uh, foil and everything cut in the card in half. This side being color with the action shot, and this side being done in a sepia tone. This is just a really great looking insert. Doesn't all you don't always have to have relics or autographs or anything to make a cool card and. Uh, Panini usually fails on inserts, but this one they did really, really good on. Really dig that card. Um, this guy does not have a ton of really nice stuff out there. And when this popped up at a really decent price, I had to grab it. Uh, from 2008, um, Leaf Limited. This is Material Monikers. Tool Patch Autograph. AJ Hawk. Signature fully on sticker, number 23 out of 25. It is game used. So, and Leaf Limited, old Leaf Limited is so nice. And that card really shines. Dig that one. Uh, picked up this card. I believe this was the copy that I owned way back in the day, but I can't be 100% positive I th um, I'm like 99% positive this was the copy I owned and it somehow made its way back and uh, I was able to pick it up from 2008 yeah 2008 tops mayo cut plug mini framed autograph red ink on card numbered four out of ten of Packers legend Sterling Sharp really like that card and uh yeah just i was really happy to see that one pop up and able to get it back um this was a recent one this might be this is pro this is one of the most recent ones here in just the last few weeks um but needed an autograph of this guy in the collection part of the super bowl uh xlv team uh from 2016 donra signature series this is the patch autograph. John Kuhn with a big chunk of patch in there. And it is game used. Which every other card I've found from this set is player worn. 
So to have his in there as game used is massive. And it is numbered 30 out of 50, which is his jersey number. And when I bought this card, I bought it off of eBay on auction. And the images that were used were from a scanner. You could not tell that this card had hollow foil. It just looked like silver foil, which is what I thought it was since it was numbered out of 50. Usually the hollow foil and stuff are like for parallels, number like 25 and below. Um, so for the, when I came in, I pulled it out of the package. I was like, holy hell. I'm glad they used those scanned images because had they used pictures that showed off the shine, I think it would have went for even more money. So really happy to have that card of John Kuhn. Um, like I said, I didn't have an autograph of him in my collection. It was one that I needed. Um, this was a card up next that I waited, um, for this specific parallel to surface and I will continue to add anybody that I can in this parallel of the Packers but from uh, 2021 Spectra champion signatures of Jordy Nelson the green scope parallel awesome view there uh, on card autograph bright blue that card is numbered one out of ten so Really pumped to get that one. That's a great card. I didn't have any standalone. Uh, I didn't have a really nice standalone autograph of Jordy Nelson in the collection. I had a really great duel of him and Clay from Topps Definitive. But didn't have a standalone card. So really happy to have that one. Uh, this next card is massive. Um, it's my only autograph of him in my collection. And I got it in a trade with Ryan, RBI Crew 7. Him and I made a deal for this. Um, and I absolutely love it. This is from 2000? Yeah, 2000. Upper Deck. This is Game Jersey Greats. On-card autograph, numbered 66 out of 200 with the still bright blue autograph on there. A lot of these have faded out or turned black in color. And a lot of them go off-card. This one's completely on-card. It's a stunner of a card. And, uh, yeah, really happy to get this. Ryan actually uh, posted this on Instagram, I believe. Or it was either Instagram or Facebook or both where I saw it. And uh, I messaged him about it, and he actually was not planning on moving it. He was saving it for national Um but he was kind enough to make it available to me and we were able to strike a deal. So thank you for that one, Ryan. Love, love, love that card. Um, up next, this was a card that uh, I, I had one of these way back in the day and I moved it because it wasn't in a Packers uniform. But as time went on, I realized this is kind of a key rookie card and I wanted to have it because it's just a really nice looking one and it's a product that back in the day, I mean, this was a very popular one, very popular product to have uh, rookies from specifically this set. Um, a 2009 Donruss Elite, we've got the gold status die cut rookie autograph numbered 21 out of 24 there. Really nice rainbow uh, foil board on that card. Um, but yeah, gold status die cuts, that's that's kind of a key card in a lot of uh, players from this era's um, time. So I was able to add that. Very, very pretty card. Then this card I bought from uh, an online auction house out of Massachusetts. Um, I'm blanking on what it's called right now. Um, Hopefully there will be some more Clay Matthews stuff in the future, or at least some nice Packers cards that I can go uh, make a run at. But I got this card super cheap. Um, uh, I was given the heads up by uh, Brian Roth. He sent me a link. I went and registered with the site and set it up to where I could bid. And I wasn't really going to go after it until a few hours uh, before the auction was going to end, it was still super cheap. So I decided to go ahead and put in a bid 
and then waited because you can you can bid on the items and then they come across the screen in the lot um it was lot 191 so i had quite a quite a lot of wait because i think whenever i went to the thing it was like it 71 and it was somewhere in the 70s and i was like it's gonna be a long night waiting for these so lot 191 came up and nobody else bid so my pre um uh, uh my pre-bid ended up winning and i won it for substantially less than what my high bid was i got this card very very cheap from 2009 um uh, certified the new generation emerald rookie new generation autograph numbered one out of five this is my second copy of this card but everybody knows i'm a sucker for emerald and certified and dupes so it's no surprise that i have another one of those um up next this was uh i think this was an ebay purchase um, from 2015 Tops Fire. I just think this is a beautiful card. Numbered one out of 15. Um, another duel with uh, Jordy Nelson, but that that foil board is so shiny and the artwork on these cards is so nice. So I got this at a really nice price. Numbered one out of 15. Very cool card. So now I have Two duels of Clay and Jordy along with the solo Jordy, so I'm probably good on him now. Um, next, from 2015, Topps Chrome, the most disappointing year for uh, Topps football. Um, this is a super fractor. You can almost see some of the swirls right there. Almost. They're so hard to see, but there's your one on one. It is a super fractor. And, uh, yeah, don't need to showcase that one anymore. Uh, this card, I had some eBay bucks, and there was a discount on this card. It finally got down into a price where I just said, fuck it, and bought it. Um, but this is 2011 gold standard. This is a PSA 10 Jim Mint uh, gridiron gold um, patch autograph. Number two out of five. Again, I have a I have another copy of this car that's raw, but the reason I wanted this one so bad was because you can see right there on the chunk of patch, there is some dirt stain, and that's that's what got me. I mean, obviously PSA ten on any kind of card um, out of this product is pretty impressive because the foil shows any little ding or dent, and uh, Relic cards, always a little bit thicker. But, uh, so the PSA 10 was a nice uh, bonus, but that dirt spot, that's what made me want it. So, really, really pretty card there from one of my all-time favorite products. And then lastly, last one I had to show off was, um, I had a copy of this card since the product came out. Um, I landed one of these pretty early on. It was the hardest card to get in the set. Um, it's the only card in the set numbered out of five. Every other card is numbered out of 10 or higher. So this was the, uh, chase for anybody that was building the set. Um, and I had a copy and I believe mine was numbered two out of five and I traded it because, um, a fellow clay collector on Instagram made me an offer that I just couldn't back away from that it was just eight it was seven or eight one ones for this card and i was like yeah i mean let's do it and then luckily um another really good friend one of my oldest friends uh in the hobby jason weaver he posted this on ebay and i immediately made an offer on ebay and then messaged him and said hey you know i saw you posted this let's let's work out a price right now let's let's get this done and we did and he pulled it from uh ebay and i was able to secure and get one of these back into my collection which i never thought i would because they're super rare and at one time i knew where all five copies were four of them were in packers collectors collections so 
they don't they just don't come up for sale anymore uh but 2005 or 2015 immaculate collection signature moves on card autograph uh graded nine uh got nine five ten nine on corners and eight five surface which the surface are a nightmare on these uh acetate cards uh, I know mine probably would have gotten an eight surface at best, my copy, just because they're so condition sensitive. But, uh, yeah, one of his best cards out there, period. Uh, but graded 910, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in the case. I'm not going to bust it. Um, it's fine in the BGS 9 slab. It's protected. So, yeah. That is the uh, last card I'm going to show off. I was we're a little over 30 minutes into this, um, and you see my background here. I have a Danbury Mint. Pull this a little bit closer. Uh, Danbury Mint um, statue of Clay Matthews. I've wanted one of these since I knew they existed, but the price point was just never right for me to pick one up. Um, I mean, it was more expensive than s some really nice cards I could buy. Um, but this one recently popped up on eBay, uh, last week for a buy it now that was $50 cheaper than the previous two had sold for. So I jumped all over it. Um, perfect condition. This thing is so nice. These things, the fingers get busted or there's dings and scrapes feet get broken off on them um but the quality on these things are so so nice um so yeah really happy to pick this up this is uh i have um a whole bookcase with clay matthew stuff on it and i have bobbleheads and mcfarlands and whatnot but this right here is so so above and beyond what those things are, they're just it's just so nice that uh it's really gonna pull that uh, whole bookcase together. So yeah. That's my video. It's been a long time since I've talked for this long on a on a video. Um yeah. But hopefully some of you enjoy watching this and uh Hopefully it won't take me another eight or nine months to make another video, but we'll see. I don't, uh, it, it's been slow going as far as picking up clays because I'm so picky now on what I get because there's, I, I have so much already that I'm just waiting for the unicorns to list and they just don't. So I'm just picking up little things here and there. There's a, there's a couple cards on my, uh, watch list that I'm uh, kind of looking at that they're not clays um, but we'll see if I go after anything it's been not just nothing to buy of clay but also the last two and a half years has been you know put money back for the wedding um, that way we could get through it and not have any debt along with it everything was bought and paid for we had our wedding and don't have any debt to pay off which uh is exactly what we wanted and it wasn't easy to do um yeah so anyway thank you all for watching um thank you dave and bob and john uh once again i i, I can't wait to see um the photos uh from the photographer um it was really cool to get a you know a YouTube sports card group pick. Um, it was awesome. So thank you all for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.